Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Staben Wabker, and I'm here to tell you some about various demonstrations you can do regarding particle technology with stuff you can find around the house. And this is really relevant to the types of problems that we actually see in our daily work at GlaxoSmithKline. What we do in that department involves particle technology. We have to see how different powders and granules will flow together to make some sort of medicine. So the two types of flow we're going to look at here that are really commonly seen in various sorts of funnels, hoppers, silos, are mass flow, which is being shown here, where all of the material tracks downward in one plug so that the material that came in first tracks out first. And so this is an example of good flow. However, when you have a different angle to your funnel, what you'll see is what's known as funnel flow. And this is where material at the sides goes through the middle in a phenomenon known as rat holing. And you'll have things happen where you have material build up on the sides here that actually won't flow out of your funnel. Another example of different types of flow you can see, again, by going back to our powdered sugar versus our granulated sugar, or your typical table sugar. So if you have just funnels that you can buy at the grocery store, and if you put powdered sugar in there, you can see that it doesn't really want to flow out of there. You kind of have to tap it a lot. It looks a lot like the problems we had with our funnel flow in the demo. If we want to look at how comparatively why people granulate sugar, we'll take another funnel, same size, and we pour the sugar in, and no matter how much we pour in, it's going to flow out really nicely. And so this is one of the reasons why people granulate materials. We're still interested in funnel flow. And what we're going to do is if we look at how you might pour some breadcrumbs like you'd buy at the grocery store into a funnel, you fill it up to the top here. And this funnel is just made from a two liter soda bottle with the lid still left on. Then when you unscrew the top, the material is just going to flow on down. So it's going to flow out. But as we all know, when stuff gets shipped, it doesn't always get shipped properly. So you might have a case where the breadcrumbs get poured into your container. And then as it's in transport, you might have a bunch of bunch of stuff happening where it gets all tapped around and where it gets all pressed down and so you're unable to actually get it to flow out when you open the lid at the end of the transport. The material doesn't want to go anywhere. 